Metropolitan Police Constable PC Hamish Michi, 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 faced a gross misconduct hearing last week where it was determined that he had breached the standards of professional behaviour and had he not already resigned, he would have been shown the door P45 in hand. Why, I hear you ask? Well, because old Hamish here turned up to work off his tits with high levels of cannabis and THC acid in his system. Hamish was on duty when he was subjected to a with cause drugs test following information his superiors had received that he was high. The test revealed high levels of cannabis and THC and he soon admitted that he had smoked cannabis once towards the end of September but insisted he would never have reported to work whilst unfit for duty due to drugs. Whilst turning up unfit for duty due to drugs. At the misconduct hearing held on the 10th of March, a scientist explained that positive urine test results indicates use within one to five days of the sample, or can be significantly lower following heavy chronic use. But if that was the case, in my opinion, it would mean that if he had been working over those past five days, he must have been even more off his tits than before he got tested, as the amount of substance in your system would decrease over time. Assistant Commissioner Helen Ball said, so either former PC Mitchy was a heavy chronic user or he smoked cannabis much closer to the actual test. In either case, he could not be confident that the drugs would not affect his performance of his duties. Assistant Commissioner Ball said she did not find the PC Mitchy's explanation plausible and believed he was unfit for duty due to the smoking cannabis. She said, given that former PC Michi, 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 must have uh, been either a chronic user or have used drugs closer to the time, closer in time to the test, I find on the balance of probabilities that he was suffering effects of cannabis use and that these effects, especially the lack of concentration, drowsiness, mood changes such as panic reactions and paranoia, would have adversely affected the performance of his duties and put the public, his colleagues and himself at risk. Hamish, who joined the Met in November 2020, admitted his actions amounted to gross misconduct. He said he was disappointed in himself and accepted the seriousness of his behaviour. He left police service before his misconduct hearing took place, but Assistant Commissioner Ball said if he was still serving, he would be dismissed for gross misconduct. Former PC Mitchie's behaviour will have fuelled an illegal trade that causes misery and danger to many people and criminal profits to many others. She said, it is entirely unacceptable for police officers who are responsible for enforcing the law to break the law themselves. What a quandary we find ourselves having over that last statement. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.